Thank you for clicking on this episode. This is Taking on the Thames. The last time we was down here, we was float fishing. And it weren't too bad. We had plenty of tiddlers, loads of bleak, a few perch just down here in the corner actually, like literally under the rod tip. But today, we're gonna try the feeder. And not only that, but once I flick this out there, but we also, on the big boy rod, are going for them big boy predators. So we've got a treble look on there with a nice dead bait. Hopefully if that tears off, we get a big fat juicy pike. We're on the maggots today on the feeder rod. Like I say every episode, you know, if you come down here with no maggots, you're probably barely gonna catch anything. We've tried the meat before on the big boy rod. That's done nothing whatsoever as of yet. I imagine once the weather settles down a bit and we roll into autumn, then um, maybe that would be a bit more successful. I'm gonna start trying pellets before long on that rod, see if that does anything. We've got a twitch on there on the feeder. But today that rod is out on some treble hooks with a dead bait, fishing for the pike, which is something that I have had some success with on the River Thames at least. So I'm hoping that we might get something on that. We, um, like I said, it's scorching up today, so who knows? But there is a little bit of cloud every now and then. We've got our first fish. We have got a little juvenile chub. That kind of shows you the growth spurt, it was only a couple of weeks since we were down here last, and that's a tiny bit bigger than what them fish were. So, you know, another 15 years or so, and that fish would be worth having a catch. It's not just me either down here, because the last time it was in this spot, the geezer came up to me, said, you caught cool, you think, mate? Uh, a few small ones, you know, nothing to write home about. He said, yeah, it's not been fishing very well at all this year. I said, this year? I haven't been fishing very well for the last few years, is it? That just shows you, you know, there's, there's got to be something going on. Because back in the day, when I was a young lad, we could at least get decent bream out of here, you know what I mean? And decent chub. And perch. Feels like it's been forever and a day since I've had a decent perch. But maybe today's the day. Maybe a perch is gonna rip in and take that dead bait. You never know. Stranger things have happened. I'm getting bites on the drop as usual. So we always do when we feed a fishing on the Thames. And another one there. It is a scorching hot day today. It really is. I am not convinced by that, but that was non-stop from the second I put it in. What have we got there? Nothing. What are the magatees like? Perfectly fine. It's a sure sign that whatever that was, was tiny. Fill that bad boy up. Today's the day, come on now. Today is the day. Be my luck. I look into it huge barbel or something on this bloody feeder rod of course because we're down here by the weirs not much boats not many boats coming past I can fling it wherever I want basically 
the last time we was down here we was just sort of fishing by this tree with the float. This time I'm trying to get it out more into that sort of central channel where it's flowing through that way because that's the way the weir is going. So that is going to be the way the oxygenated water is going. Whereas when the water's coming in this way, because it's literally a T-junction that we're on now, and the water's coming in this way, it's probably not quite as fresh. But I am having a bit of trouble getting the feeder to actually stay down there. Which is unusual, because it doesn't look too strong out there. Nothing again, probably. When the fish are this small, mate, it's hard to tell if you've even got a fish on there. Maggots are sucked a dry. Sticking with two again. Filled this up we're early in the session so we want to get that swim built up Again, just bites on the drop. It's real hard to get the feeder to settle down. Ah, slightly better bite, but again, not at all convinced. And again, nothing. And again, maggots are fine. I'm not going to throw any feed out that time. This time. back out I want to see what happens on the drop see if I can strike into whatever it is maybe no oh dear that's in a right state this area of the river is a perfect place for smaller fish to come and chew out, you know, semi-peaceful. It's reasonably narrow really, probably like a bit of a nursery for them, you know. Probably why there's so many of them, but we say that and if there's plenty of them, there should be plenty of predators that also know that there's plenty of them. And that is what we're fishing for today on the big boy rod. The sun is almost unbearable. A little bangy bite on the twitchy end of the rod again. Feels a little heavier. Don't feel nothing fighting back, but it feels a little heavier. But I'm mistaken. There's all on there. And the maggots are still fine. There's tiny, tiny stuff out there. I can't help but think that if it was on the float, we might have landed at least 50% more of these fish. Yoink! <clears throat> I said earlier we was getting cloud coming through, but it's not a cloud in the sky now. One of the problems I've got is there's 
quite a few really nice features over the other side there. Having a hard time picking which one to go for. It's probably no different to the features that are literally right next to me. But that's in the shade. So that's why I'm trying to hammer it over there a bit more. It's not making it easy. When we're literally getting bite after bite and nothing is coming in. What is going on, mate? And we are getting looped up. Maybe I'll just try down here. In the spot we fished last time. I ain't got to bring it in as far to and realise I haven't got anything. I'll just give it a little underarm flick down there. It is reasonably deep everywhere across this section. Even all the way up to the bank here. That bite was just blah, blah, blah. ridiculous. Come on now. Tiny. Another small chub. At least it's not bleak. So. That's a good sign. At least they give a little bit of a wiggle. After fishing this last time, and knowing that that was the kind of standard size of these fish, we um, decided to get bait for the pike of a similar size. So, they're definitely the size that you'd get a perch on, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but at least we actually hooked something there. Starting to feel like my waders are melting. Twitchy old bite, twitchy old bite. And again. Just so rapid, the bites. But. They're not worth fitting into. That one might be. <clears throat> Nothing. Almost kind of wish I put the float on this time. Double Makate. I think this is the spot where um, I had a little robin friend, but no sign of anything like that yet. Look at my arms, they're absolutely shining with sweat. Another underhand. 
underhand. <sighs> Close range. Just need to I remember I just clocked sight there's a big old branch or something down there. Don't fancy getting caught up in that. I think at some point I'll be trying some big old worms. Just to see if that helps to eliminate this real tiny, tiny stuff, you know? But even that probably won't. Because a small fish will still peck at it, even though it's, you know, it's not getting anywhere near the hook. It's just pecking at the worm. Same story as what's going on with these maggots. This is one of the areas of the Thames where it isn't free. It's 30 quid a year, which ain't bad. Cause it's not just this spot either. There's, got, there's like 10, 12 different spots similar to this that are on weirs or on islands or by locks and whatever. Like what's that? That's 48 hours on a syndicate lake, on a day ticket water rather. Not that it's proven to be amazing value for money. But if you don't mind just coming down and spending some time by the water, you know what I mean? Just catching a few. That was a better bite. I don't know what happened there. Something happened with me rod there. Oh, we've, we've done a copper, look. Coming in in reverse. Beep, beep, and beep. <laughs> Rolled all over the line. I'm gonna stab the shit out of me now. Ow. There you go. Chill, chill, chill the fuck out, brother. <sighs> Little perch about an eighth of the size that we would really be, you know, rightly happy with, I guess. But that guy, he's mad, look, and he's got them, that fin up. He is a mad, full of dump. He fought harder than he should have. I thought I looked a dolphin for a minute. On the perch. At least they do something. At least they try. They don't just roll over and let you have their way. Just don't roll over and let you have your way with them. 10 out of 10 for effort. About a 2.3 out of 10 for size. That was in that closest, well, close or wasn't quite in the spot where we was nailing the perch on the float last time. I think they kind of hang out under this bank. And yeah, there's weed, if I remember rightly. Not far out in front of me here. Can't actually see it today because the glare's so bad, even with his glasses on. Oh, hello, look, speak of the devil. My little buddy's back. I ain't really got anything I can put these in anymore. Oh, dry crusty lid still here from last time. There you go, buddy. I was trying so hard last time to get him to land on my hand, but he's just not having any of it. Come on, dude.
That's terrible whistling, isn't it? Yeah, boy. Come on. I'm going to put him in there. Come land on the rod. It's just as far away as over there, mate. Little twitch there. This cast has been shocking. Are we snagged on something or something? Or sank or sank? Nope. Maggot's barely touched. Yep. Fill that back up. Yeah, look. What's this? Come on. I double dare you. Come on over. Thinking about it. All right. He's all right, no, it's not that, mate. I'm out of here. Might not be the same one. Oh, he is. He's got the same back tattoo. Oh, I was supposed to put some feed in that before I threw it out. Wildlife overload again. Come on, Iron Boy. I bet if I threw him down there, you'd go for it. Yeah, straight away. Look. Doink. I mean, maybe something like sweet corn might be an idea. Just to give it a whirl on the feeder. What are you doing, dude? You're so brave to go down there, but you won't come up on my arm. Or do I stink? To be fair, I do. These waders are well overdue, I wash or something. Oh my days, look at the state of that, and I wonder if it was all a bit slow on there. Still yet to have invested in any anti-tangle sleeves. I just keep forgetting. They are fine. Honestly, fishing is a game of patience in every sense of the word, mate. And stick it down there. I feel bites already twitching away. The hell kind of animal is that? Oh, that's always something to just take your eye off of it, just in time for when you get a bite. Come on now, focus. Here comes the cloud at last. You're very welcome. Well, so far the feeder is nowhere near as productive as the float on this swim. I think it's just to do with the the sheer size of the fish. Maybe if we actually watch the end of our rod this time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on with the reel? It feels much better, but I'm in trouble. I'm in some serious trouble. Oh, what can I do here? I think I've literally
trying to keep pressure on it, which is tough because the line's looped around the reel here. It's a nice fish, it's a really nice fish. I don't even know what it is, I can't let any drag out or nothing. It's a really, really nice fish. Look at the reel. Oh, it's come off. That was a nice fish. I couldn't even tell you what that was. I thought for a second it was a big perch. But when I saw it down there, it looked too big to be a perch. <sighs> I've lost my glasses. Just threw them in a temper. It could have been a big chub, you know, but that pull, mate. The worst thing about that is apart from a pike, that's the hardest pull that I've had out of this river ever. And I was literally just sitting here, not 10 minutes ago saying oh it's not fishing very well and you used to be able to get decent bream and blah 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 I've, I'm, the only thing I can tell you is it was definitely gold in colour be my luck I look into a huge barbel or something on this bloody feeder rod for just a split second and that is when I knew that I was screwed because I thought that if it's, a, at least if it's a big perch, with the reel out of action, I might be able to salvage it. I just might be able to... He actually snapped me, look, because I couldn't get the drag to work. I thought I just lost him off the hook, but it's not, it's actually snapped me up. And one of the reasons why I use these size 12 hooked to nylons is because that's seven and a half pound line on there. So if that was a chub, that was a monster chub. I'm guessing barbel or carp is the only thing I can say that that could possibly have been. On the maggots, of all things as well on the maggots, the amount of times I've sat here with this big rod out there with a 20 pound line, main line, with a shock leader on it, with, you know, I think I've got a 15 pound fluorocarbon hook link on there, with a decent size hook on there, and the biggest fish that I hook from the Thames gets hooked on a swim feeder with two maggots on a size 12. I'm kind of wishing that I didn't see that it was gold in color. But saying that, I mean, you heard me. When I said I'm in trouble here, I could just feel how much it was pulling. And I knew that with no drag or anything, that it was gonna be a struggle. And I, sh I should have just, I should have just tried to hand line it. I really should have. But I, I just thought that surely it's just looped over once, hopefully, you know, it's just looped over once. But I mean, even if, even if I managed to get that spool off, it would have it's probably still been game over. But I was st just sitting there thinking, just hand line it in, hand line it in. I might even have said it while I was playing it. Just hand line it in with the drag whatever it was i had a very good chance of getting that in it was hooked well enough obviously it's, it's snapped the line it's not it didn't just slip the hook i mean i've lost fish so many times 
in the years that I've been fishing. But that one hurts, mate. That one really hurts. Because I think that that would have been a special fish from out of the River Thames. It really would have. Could have been my first barbel. Could have been a River Thames carp. Would have, could have, should have. All it is now is a bird nest and a figment of my imagination. I've got here half decent roach. Well, that kind of, kinda makes me feel a bit better. Not bad roach, that. Not bad at all. Certainly better than the crap we've been getting. Not bad at all. But are we going to be rewarded? Yes, I think we might be. We are. We are in now to a predator. Feels like a not bad fish. And we have got something. And I think we deserve that after what we've been through today. He ain't nowhere near as big as I thought he was gonna be, bless him. But um, come on, he's a consolation prize for what happened earlier. And he is well and truly welcome. He is solid gone, mate. Solid gone. Stop bleeding now, but he did actually manage to nick me. But it's all part of the fun, isn't it? Nice little pike. Like I said, total consolation prize for what we had earlier. I'll tell you what, for the pike the size of that, he's really fought well. I mean, I've had pike three times bigger than that and they didn't fight that much, bless him. But you kind of find that with carp as well, didn't you? That the bigger ones are slow and plodding and the smaller ones really scrap. He was going all over the place, mate. He was not happy. He had a little mark on his back, which almost looked like a bigger one had had a go at him. Almost struck that, I'll strike that though. What have we got here? Could be another semi-decent roach. Shake that and roll, mate. That's a hybrid. We had one of these last time we were here. Relax, bro. Relax. Relax. He is tensing up. Like a 40 year old man at his doctor's appointment. Easy, easy, tiger. Easy now. There we go. Another. Yeah, look at the slime on him. Not quite roach, not quite bream. Another bream roach hybrid from the Thames. These can get an all right, decent size, and they give you an all right fight. I'm giving him back, because we don't really want all that slime coming off. It has been a funny old day today. We lost whatever the hell that was earlier, which was a real kick in the teeth, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna probably have nightmares about that now for the next three and a half weeks. But we kind of got a cons uh, consolation prize with that pike. I'd probably still put him under the jack category rather than a fully grown adult. But we pulled back and that's all that counts. We've had a couple of these, well, we had one half decent roach, an hybrid, a few little bits and bobs here and there. So all in all, for the River Thames, 
probably a slightly over average trip today. Um, if we had landed that fish earlier, it would have been a spectacular day. But until that day comes around, you know the score by now. I be Mark Payne, this be taken on the Thames, and I will see you.